Today I'm replacing the right axle seal on this Volkswagen Beetle. First I've got to get the drive shaft out of the way. In order to do that, I pull these three ball joint bolts and then those six 12 point allens. There's a little shield that goes around here too. That guy is 216 so it's a lot easier if you take him out of the way. Once I get the axle up out of the way, then there's an Allen that holds the flange on and I can get easy access to the seal. So this is the drive shaft, this part. The second guy right here is the flange and then the seal is actually inside that green sleeve. So I mo remove the drive shaft with these Allens. Then there's a little or a long screw that holds this flange on. Once I get the flange out of the way, I can pop the seal out and replace it. So I used the bearing installer to install the seal. I just found uh, one that fit a little bit oversized so that I could get it sitting in there flush. Make sure that you don't get it cocked and then just tap it gently with a hammer all the way around. To remove the seal, I just used one of these seal poppers. You gotta be real careful with these hooks and make sure that it doesn't grab that green seal and scrape it because if you have a scrape mark, then your new seal will leak again. When you put this flange back in, it's spring-loaded, so you gotta figure out a way to pry it in a bit so you can get the bolts started because they're real easy to strip and then you'll have big troubles. This little allen that goes in the center of the flange, it's only 18 foot-pounds, so it shouldn't be that tight, but you need to pry this guy in to compress the spring before you can start. What I did is stuck a screwdriver through this hole in the oil pan up through here so that I could pry back on the flange to get that allen started. Once you get the flange tightened, line this ball joint back up into place with these three 13s. Then you can start the six axle bolts and you're all set. The last step is checking and filling the tranny fluid. The drain plug is down here on the bottom might want to drain a little bit of fluid out before you take the axle so you're not making a mess. And the fill plug is up here on the side of the tranny. There's a power steering line that goes along here and kind of makes it difficult to get to this fill plug. So I take this 13 out and this 13 out so that I can have this line kind of dangle out of my way so there's nothing blocking my access to this fill plug. So you want to fill the fluid and you want to make sure that the vehicle is level so that you have the correct amount of train fluid in there. And then to tighten, torque the wheels, test drive, recheck for leaks and everything, you are done. Alright, so this is the tool I use to fill the gear oil. I just suck this up into this tube and put the tube into the fill plug. Then you fill the gear oil through the fill plug until it starts to drip out. Then I put the vehicle flat so I know that the level's correct, and I pull the plug and make sure that I've got enough fluid in there. 